Have you ever felt like someone was sent into your life just to make it harder for you? It's important for you to notice people who try to drag you down. Keep watching and you'll find out the signs. Manipulative behavior and gaslighting are tactics often employed by individuals influenced by darker forces. These tactics are designed to control and deceive those around them. Gaslighting, in particular, is a form of psychological manipulation where the perpetrator distorts reality, making the victim doubt their own perceptions and sanity. It undermines self-trust and creates confusion, especially during spiritual awakening journeys. Gaslighters use tactics like denial, minimization, and shifting blame to make their victims question their own experiences and feelings. They might manipulate situations to make the victim feel guilty or doubt their memory. This constant manipulation erodes the victim's sense of self and makes them more susceptible to the gaslighter's control. In spiritual awakening journeys, encountering gaslighting can be particularly damaging. It disrupts the process of self-discovery and growth by creating doubt and uncertainty. Victims may struggle to trust their intuition or discern what is real and what is not. This can hinder progress on the spiritual path and lead to feelings of confusion and frustration. Recognizing manipulative behavior and gaslighting is essential for protecting oneself during spiritual awakening. By understanding these tactics and learning to trust one's own instincts, individuals can avoid falling prey to manipulation and maintain clarity on their spiritual journey. It's important to surround oneself with supportive and trustworthy individuals who uplift and encourage personal growth rather than seeking to control or deceive. Another sign that someone in your life may be influenced by darker forces is the display of grandiosity and a superiority complex. These individuals often have an inflated ego and believe they are better or more important than others. They may constantly seek attention and admiration, feeling entitled to special treatment. A superiority complex can overshadow authentic connections and hinder personal growth. Individuals influenced by darker forces may struggle to form genuine relationships because they view others as inferior or unworthy. This can lead to a lack of empathy and understanding towards others' perspectives, making it difficult to establish meaningful connections. Furthermore, grandiosity can disrupt spiritual alignment by creating a barrier between oneself and higher truths. When someone believes they are above others or above the spiritual journey itself, they may close themselves off to valuable lessons and insights. This can stunt personal growth and prevent individuals from reaching their full spiritual potential. It's important to recognize signs of grandiosity and superiority complex in those around us. By acknowledging these traits, we can avoid being drawn into toxic relationships and maintain focus on our own spiritual development. Surrounding ourselves with humble, genuine individuals who value empathy and connection can help foster a supportive environment for spiritual growth. Another indication is their lack of empathy and tendency towards emotional vampirism. These individuals often display a callous disregard for the feelings and well-being of others, using them for their own emotional gain. A lack of empathy means they are unable or unwilling to understand or share the feelings of others. They may manipulate or exploit emotions for personal benefit without regard for the impact on others. This emotional exploitation can drain the energy and vitality of those around them, leaving them feeling depleted and exhausted. Emotional vampirism involves feeding off the emotional energy of others 
to satisfy their own needs. These individuals may seek out empathetic individuals who are more susceptible to their manipulations, draining them of their positive energy and leaving them feeling depleted and drained. Engaging with individuals who exhibit such behaviors can hinder spiritual growth and create toxic dynamics in relationships. It's essential to recognize the signs of emotional vampirism and set boundaries to protect one's energy and well-being. Surrounding oneself with supportive and empathetic individuals can help counteract the effects of emotional vampirism and foster a positive environment for spiritual growth and development. Individuals influenced by darker forces often perpetuate a cycle of constant negativity and tear down those around them. They habitually project pessimism and criticism, aiming to undermine the confidence and self-worth of others. Their criticism is not constructive, but rather targeted to sow seeds of doubt and insecurity in the minds of their victims. This pattern of negativity serves as a strategy to keep others from reaching their full potential. By constantly tearing down those around them, these individuals maintain a sense of control and superiority. Recognizing this pattern is crucial for protecting one's emotional and spiritual well-being. Being constantly surrounded by negativity can drain one's energy and hinder spiritual growth. It's important to establish boundaries and limit exposure to individuals who perpetuate this cycle of negativity. Instead, seek out positive and uplifting relationships that encourage growth and support. Surrounding oneself with people who build others up rather than tear them down creates a nurturing environment for spiritual development. By distancing oneself from constant negativity, one can maintain a sense of optimism and focus on their spiritual journey without unnecessary obstacles. Spending time with individuals influenced by darker forces can leave you spiritually and mentally drained. These individuals thrive on negativity, often steering conversations towards criticism and pessimism. Engaging with them can feel like navigating through a murky swamp where every interaction leaves you feeling depleted and exhausted. Their energy is like a black hole, sucking away your positivity and vitality. As you interact with them, you may find yourself absorbing their negative emotions and internalizing their toxic perspectives. This spiritual and mental drainage can hinder your own growth and leave you feeling stuck in a state of perpetual stagnation. Recognizing this draining effect is crucial for protecting your spiritual well-being. It's important to set boundaries and limit your exposure to individuals who drain your energy. Surround yourself with positive influences that uplift and inspire you, replenishing your spiritual reserves and empowering you to continue on your journey towards enlightenment. By prioritizing your own mental and spiritual health, you can safeguard yourself against the draining influence of those who seek to bring you down. Remember that you have the power to control who you allow into your life and choose to surround yourself with those who support and nourish your spiritual growth. One of the telltale signs that someone in your life may be sent by darker forces is their active encouragement of sinful behaviors. These individuals not only engage in behaviors contrary to your values, but also attempt to persuade you to join them in their misguided pursuits. Their intentions are not to uplift or guide you, but rather to lead you astray and compromise your integrity. They may lure you with promises of excitement or pleasure, tempting you to indulge in actions that go against your moral compass. Whether it's deceit, manipulation, or indulgence in vices such as greed, lust, or envy, 
these individuals will stop at nothing to entice you down a path of spiritual destruction. Their influence can be subtle yet insidious, gradually eroding your sense of right and wrong until you find yourself justifying actions that once seemed unthinkable. By succumbing to their persuasion, you risk losing sight of your values and distancing yourself from the path of spiritual enlightenment. To combat this influence, it's essential to reaffirm your commitment to your values and principles. Remind yourself of the importance of integrity, compassion, and righteousness in your spiritual journey. Surround yourself with individuals who share your values and uplift you in your pursuit of spiritual growth. Another tactic employed by those influenced by darker forces is subtly sowing seeds of doubt about your faith and values. These individuals may challenge your beliefs or question the validity of your spiritual journey, aiming to undermine your sense of purpose and direction. Their approach may be subtle, disguised as innocent curiosity or intellectual debate. However, their true intent is to erode your confidence and plant seeds of uncertainty in your mind. By casting doubt on your faith and values, they seek to weaken your resolve and lead you away from the path of enlightenment. It's important to recognize the insidious nature of these tactics and guard against their influence. Surround yourself with supportive influences that strengthen your faith and reaffirm your values. Seek out mentors, spiritual guides, or communities that uplift and encourage you in your spiritual journey. True spiritual growth comes from constructive questioning and seeking deeper understanding, not from doubts planted to lead you astray. By staying grounded in your faith and remaining true to your values, you can protect yourself from the destabilizing influence of those who seek to undermine your spiritual journey. In the realm of relationships influenced by darker forces, there often exists a cycle of love bombing followed by devaluation. Love bombing refers to the initial phase of a relationship where the perpetrator showers the victim with affection, attention, and grand gestures. This overwhelming display of love and admiration can feel intoxicating and create a sense of euphoria. However, this phase is often followed by devaluation, where the perpetrator suddenly shifts their behavior and begins to undermine the victim's self-worth and confidence. They may criticize, belittle, or dismiss the victim's thoughts, feelings, and accomplishments. This sudden change can be bewildering and emotionally devastating for the victim who may struggle to understand what they did wrong or why they are no longer valued. The cycle of love bombing and devaluation is a common tactic used by narcissists and those influenced by darker forces to manipulate and control their victims. By idealizing the victim during the love bombing phase, they gain their trust and affection, only to tear them down during the devaluation phase, leaving them emotionally wounded and dependent. It's essential to recognize this pattern in relationships and set boundaries to protect oneself from emotional manipulation and abuse. By understanding the tactics used by those influenced by darker forces, individuals can break free from toxic relationships and cultivate healthy, nurturing connections based on mutual respect and genuine affection. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay tuned for more insightful content.